Is this a V-dub van meet? Speaking of van meets, unfortunately, I have to cancel the March lifted van meet. I'm just going through some personal things right now. Some uncertainty in life. I got in touch with a couple of you already. I still plan on doing some camping trips early this year. So if you're able to go on a camping trip on short notice, like two to three week notice, and you want to do a camp out, let me know. Get in touch with me. Who's getting a lift kit for their van in 2024? Who has gotten a lift kit recently? Here's a van I want to share. This guy goes to the same gym as me, Malinois Dog Training. Hello everybody. Just wanted to show you this project I've been working on. It's a diesel ambulance that I bought and gutted it out, took all the equipment off and put a lift kit on from Action Vans in San Clemente. So this thing's a beast, it's diesel. I just rhino lined the bottom half of it. I'll go ahead and pin that video in the comments. But yeah, man, you got to take that van to the gym. I go every Monday and Friday. It would be cool to put our van side by side. Half of my friends have an action van. Half of my friends have a Welltech. And I know people wanting a lift kit for their van like seeing those videos to get inspired, to get hyped up about this hobby. So I plan on doing a big lifted van meet in November. That's, uh, that's like 10, 10, 11 months away from now. So that's plenty of time. And that's perfect because I have several friends who are still working on their van build. Here are a couple of my friends on Instagram and YouTube. So here's Chris right here. He's uh, all the way in Florida, but right now he's going through the mechanical, the mechanicals of his van. He wants to make sure that his van is uh, roadworthy, reliable before he takes it on big road trips. So he's one of my friends I want to see. I want to see a lot of you guys, but here's a couple of them that I know are working on their vans right now. The other one is Unisol Battle Van in uh, Oregon. So right now those guys are um, actually Washington. Bobzilla, he's in Oregon. Hopefully I'll see him sometime this year too. But yeah, those are a couple of my friends I want to see. So let me know in the comments who's getting a lift kit this year, who has a lift kit not installed yet, and who's still working on their vans. November, let's do a November meet. I'm not sure where yet, but we'll definitely try to do one in November. Plenty of time for you guys to plan. But like I said, um, whoever's able to do a camping trip on short notice... Just uh, stay in touch, and uh, whenever I'm going to do a camping trip, I'll let you guys know, and maybe we could meet up on short notice. A couple of my friends are in San Diego. A um, couple of you are in uh, like Los Angeles, Long Beach, um, Southern California, so that's pretty close to uh, Anza Borrego. That's my favorite spot now. So I, I know Anza Borrego really well now, so that's where I plan on camping throughout the year. Maybe Ocotillo, so we'll see. Yeah, why am I showing this car? Uh, this car is really good on gas. I plan on doing more um, uh, different content this year, mixing it up a little bit. I don't think anyone likes this car though. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and put some footage of this car at the end of this video for anyone who's a fan of this car. It's funny because when I upload a YouTube short about my van, it's like, uh, in fact, let me show you right now. This is hilarious. This is pretty funny. So most of my shorts are about my van. I threw in a short right here of the Aborth and look at that grade, 73% <laughs> likes. When you look at the van, it's like 95%, 85%, 96, 100, 100. This car could only manage a 70%. See, the van's mostly like 90s. 180 in there bunch of hundreds 70 percent <laughs> nobody likes you i like you though you're very good on fuel so i'll go ahead and throw some footage of this car at the end um i actually drove this on a road trip instead of my van recently it was a lot cheaper on gas than my van no van life last time i took this car on a road trip 
was in 2020. It's a lot different than driving a van. I actually had to get out and use the bathroom. When I have my van, I have a bathroom with me. 40.7 miles per gallon. My van can't do that. This is not a hybrid. This is a small car with a turbo and it sounds like this. This is one of the things I really enjoy about this car. Four cylinder, turbo, only has five gears. I'm in fifth right now. If, you have, if you've ever driven a manual four cylinder car, you know how it is when you're climbing a grade. See my elevation going up? When you're climbing a grade, you need a downshift into third or fourth. No downshift needed. I'm at 65 cruise control. And the reason why I don't need a downshift is look at that boost gauge. Six PSI of boost right now. Turbo's at work right now. That's why I'm just going up this mountain with no downshift. Don't need to up the RPM because the turbo's working right now. And on this grade, a lot of times the semi trucks are slowing down to like sometimes like 30 miles per hour with their hazards on. Yeah. Just running cruise control right now. Turbo at work. Fun car. This is a cool car. I went ahead and upped the speed to 70. I'm in the fast lane. There you go, just passing everybody. A little choppy ride, but still in fifth gear. Top gear, no six in this car. And there you go. A little more than 6 PSI. If I give it a little throttle, there's the boost gauge. Nice. If you want more power, give it a downshift, fourth gear, and look how much faster the boost builds. You want even more power? Go into third gear. Boost builds up really fast in third gear. Drop the speed back down to 65. Going downhill right now, so no boost needed. Zero PSI of turbo boost. So turbo boost is more air. More air, more fuel, more power, worse fuel economy. But I'm still at 38.5 miles per gallon. Just for fun, I'll step on the gas. So there's the boost gauge. 18 PSI and a pop. We're about to hit a grade again. Watch the turbo go to work. There you go. You can see the boost building. About 4 PSI of boost. No downshift needed. Let the turbo work. The Fiat at Flying J. What's going on here? Happy New Year, friends. This doesn't have nearly as much space as the van. Cruise control, 65 miles per hour. And I had a clean run. Only like a brief moment of traffic, about five minutes, that's it. 45 miles per gallon. Let's get the actual numbers when I top this off. That was a near perfect run. 266 miles of range left. 45.1 miles per gallon, 62 miles per hour average. Hit a little traffic, but that was 65 cruise control the whole time and 209 miles traveled. Let's go ahead and get actual fuel economy numbers. 4.471 gallons added. $20 to travel 209 miles. Actual fuel economy numbers, 46.7 miles per gallon. So even better than what the factory gauge was predicting.